Good afternoon, Sir Abilino and classmates. Today, we're going to talk about Code of Sanitation, a presidential degree number 856. This presidential degree was promulgated by the late President Ferdinand E. Marcos last December 23, 1975. The objective of this presidential degree is the health of the people. Being the paramount importance, all efforts of public service should be directed towards the protection and promotion of health. Whereas the advance of field of sanitation in recent years, there arises the needs for updating and codifying our scattered sanitary law to ensure that they are in keeping with modern standards of sanitation and provide a handy reference and guide for their reinforcement. The primary agency that implements this code is the Department of Health. The following are the power and functions of the Department of Health. First is to undertake the promotion and preservation of health of the people and the rise of the health standards of individual and community throughout the Philippines. The department is also tasked to extend maximum health service to the people in rural areas and provide medical care to those who cannot afford in by the reason of poverty. DOH also develop, administer, and coordinate various health activities and services which include public health, preventive, curative, and rehabilitative programs, medical care, health, and medical education services. The department is also tasked to upgrade the standards of medical practice, the quality of health service, and program to assure the people benefit health services. The DOH also assess the local health agency in development public health program, including medical care and promote medical and public health research. The Department of Health issues permit and establish and operate government and private hospital, clinic, dispensary, school of nursing, midwifery, and other paramedical courses, pure cultural center, medical laboratories, and blood banks. DOH also prescribed the standard rate of fees for health, medical, laboratory, and other public health services, and reform such other functions may be provided by the law. Chapter 2 of this presidential degree is all about water supply. The supply of water should be on standard for drinking water and their bacteriological and chemical examination, together with the evaluation of results. It shall confirm with the category set by the National Drinking Water Standards, the treatment of water to render it safe for drinking, and the disinfection of contaminated water source, together with their distribution system, should be in accordance with the procedure prescribed by the department. Only laboratories duly accredited by the Department of Health are allowed to perform or examine the quality of drinking water. Under Section 13, the following measures should be observed to protect the drinking water from contamination. Bathing or washing of clothes are prohibited within the 25 meters radius from any well or source of drinking water. No artisans deep or shallow should be constructed within 25 meters from any source of pollution. It is also prohibited to store radioactive sources or materials within the 25 meters radius from any well or source of water or drinking water unless the radioactive source is adequately and safely enclosed by a proper shielding. No person charged with management of public water supply system shall permit any physical connection between its distribution system and any other water supply unless the latter is regularly examined as to its quality by those in charge of the public supply to which the connection is made and found to be safe and potable. It is also prohibited to install booster pump to boost water directly from the water distribution line of the water supply system where the low pressure prevails. Chapter 3, Food Establishment Section 14, Sanitary Permit no person or entity shall operate food establishment or public patronage without securing a permit from the local health office. Meaning, if you don't have a sanitary permit, a businessman or a corporation could not operate a food establishment. Every sanitary permit should be posted in a conspicuous place of the establishment. 
meaning it should be display visible to the public. The fees and payable application per permit upon the issuance. Renewal and notice of such certificate should be such amount as the city municipal authority may be resolutional imposed. Noting of permit within 14 days after any change of the ownership or occupancy of any establishment, the new occupant should apply for the city or municipal health officer. The record should be available of all reasonable time for inspection by any officers of the Department of Health. Section 15 Health Certificate No person should be employed in any food establishment without a health certificate issued by the local health authority. Section 16 Quality and Protection of Food Meat products and fish should be procured from the sources under a sanitary or veterinary supervisions. All meat and fish should be properly cooked before serving. No meat product, fish, vegetables, and other food source should be procured from the source or any areas known to have been infected by a radioactivity. Milk and fluid milk products should be obtained from the sources approved by the local health authority. Milk obtained from other sources must be sterilized, pasteurized, or otherwise heated. Milk should be stored in the refrigerator. Canned or packaged milk or other dry milk powder should be refrigerated after the container has been opened. All perishable and potential hazardous food should be stored 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius or below. Cooked food intended to be served hot should be kept at a temperature not lower than 60 Celsius. Raw fruits and vegetables should be thoroughly washed before they are used. Section 17. Structural Requirements for Food Establishments No person should use any room or place or in connection with the preparation, storage, handling, or sales of any article of food. Section 18. Use of Food Service Spaces It is prohibited to be used as a living or sleeping quarters of workers. Clothing or personal effects should be kept in the lockers. No animals should be allowed in such spaces. Section 19. Food Handlers Food handlers should wear clean working garments or clothes. Observe good personal hygiene. Wash their hands thoroughly. Section 20. Vermin Control The vermin is a group of insects or small animals such as fleas, mosquitoes, cockroaches, and etc. which are vectors of diseases. Section 21. Toilet and Washing Facilities Still Under Food Establishment an adequate and clean toilet facilities for male and female customers and personnel should be provided properly located areas. Equipment and utensils, they should be designed, fabricated, and installed so that cleaning is easy and they do not pose health hazards. Section 32. Special Provision Grocery or Sari Sari Store No grocery or Sari Sari Store should be established within the distance of 25 meters from any source of contamination. All food which require no further cooking before they are eaten should be protected from contamination while in the country or short cases. Bakeries, delivery trucks, and cart of bakery products should always be kept clean and sanitary. Dairies, no dairy should keep unhealthy or infected cow, carabao, or goat from the production of milk or feed them with unwholesome food which produce impure or unwholesome milk. No dairy shall sell unwholesome milk that has not been previously pasteurized or otherwise sterilized. Ice plant, only potable water should be used in manufacturing ice. In storing and transporting ice intended for public consumption, precaution measures should be taken in to protect the ice from sources of contamination. Oyster bed, Oyster beds should be planted and grow only the areas approved by the secretary or his duly authorized representative in the place duly licensed by the Bureau of Fishery and Aquatic Resource. Oyster offered for sale, if not originally from the approved area, should be confiscated and destroyed by the local health authority. Fish in market area, only fresh and wholesome fish products should be sold. 
fish catch in radioactive zone as well as areas contaminated by toxic substance or high in mercury count as determined by the health authority shall be condemned and not allowed for public consumption. The selling and distribution and buying of fish catch through the use of explosive and chemical are prohibited. Market and abattoirs Section 34 The construction of market and abattoirs should confirm the standards of prescribed by the department. It should be suitable for site in so far elimination of noisance condition, prevention of contamination are concerned, availability of ample water supply for cleaning, accessibility adequate drainage facilities, durability of construction to protect vendors and customer from any hazards and exposure to the elements and facilities for sanitation and maintenance such as cleaning and elimination of harborage of Berman. Chapter 5 Public Laundry Section 37 stated that sanitary permit no public laundry should operate without any sanitary permit from the secretary or duly authorized representative. As used in this chapter, a public laundry is a laundry establishment and operated for commercial purpose open to public and not to an exclusive clientele. All articles to be laundried coming from hospitals and infected sources should be treated by exposure of sufficient quantity of hot water, detergent, or any other effective means of disinfection. All linen, bed clothing, pajamas, towels, bed sheet, pillowcase, and etc. that had come in contact with any form of radioactivity should be isolated in a certain area and monitored by a radio safety personnel before sending these articles for laundry. If any amount of radioactivity contamination is found, the effective article should be set aside and the radioactivity allows to completely decay before said article is sent to laundry. Diapers should be protected from pathogenic organism and a form of chemical substance which are irritating the skin of the infant. Laundering diaper for delivery should be packed and sealed sanitary containers. School sanitation and health services. School and institution for learning which may be public or private or parochial. A special school is school which utilizes cadaver, plants, animals, bacterial, viral culture for studies and research. Physical environments, the school plant, grounds, and facilities. Emotional environmental factors which affect the emotion of health of students and members of the faculty. Cadaver should be stored in morgue and dissected in dissecting rooms. All should be constructed and maintained according to the standards of prescribed by the department. Poisonous or harmful plants and animals should be kept in adequate and secured areas. Viral and bacterial culture should be kept in laboratories under the standard security laboratory measures. School utilizing radioactive materials or source for study or research should closely confirm to the requirements and guidelines given by the Radiation Health Officer and the Philippines Atomic Energy Commission concerning radiation protection. Chapter 7 Industrial Hygiene No person, firm, corporation, or entity should operate any industrial establishment without first obtaining a sanitary permit from the secretary or his duly authorized representatives. Public Swimming Pool and Batting Places Section 51. Sanitary permit, no public swimming pool and batting place should be operated for public use without a sanitary permit issued by the secretary or duly authorized representative. Section 52. A correct sanitary practice per person swimming and batting to prevent the transmission of communicable diseases. A correct sanitary procedures for personal working those placed to maintain their adequate sanitation and cleanliness in accessories used by the customer. Adequate numbers of training personnel and necessary equipment needed for life-saving and rescue work. Post Confucius sign to warn the public of the presence of artificial or natural hazard and 
sanitary structure, requisite for swimming pool and bath houses to prevent pollution on their water and to the facility's sanitation maintenance. Sanitary structure, standards for appurtenance such as toilet, shower, bath, dressing room to eliminate the risk of infection. Methods of determining the sanitary quality of water, particularly in which the use of swimming pools and criteria used in limitation of swimming in batting loads of swimming pool in accordance with the type of water treatment applied. Rest area, bus terminal, bus stop, and service stations. Rest area, bus terminal, bus stop, service station should be established with ample area to prevent overcrowding, motor vehicle, and travelers. They should be provided with adequate ventilation and light away from source of nuisance. Safe and adequate water supply should be provided according with the provision of the Chapter 2 of this code. Excreta and sewage collection and disposal should be provided according to the provision Chapter 17 of this code. Refuse of collection and disposal should be in coordinance with the provision of Chapter 17 of this code. Comfort rooms, adequate numbers, comfort rooms should be provided as well as auxiliary facilities therein accordance with the provision of Chapter 17 of this code. Waiting shed for commuters should be adequate size, comfortable accommodation, a minimum of 30 person, floor should be smooth concrete finish and adequate seating facilities provided for. Sales of food staff in this establishment should be done confirming with the provision of Chapter 2 of this code. Camps and Picnic Grounds No camp or picnic ground should be open to public patronage without any sanitary permit issued by the secretary or his duly authorized representative. Dancing school, dancing halls, and nightclubs The establishment shall be operated and open for public patronage only when sanitary permit is issued by the local health authority. The establishment and their premises should be keep clean and sanitized at all times. Patrons should be provided with adequate potable water and toilet facilities accordance with the standards prescribed by the code. There should be no private rooms or separate compartments for public use except the use of laboratories, dressing room, bars, and kitchen. For dancing school, no person should be employed as a dance instructor or dance instructors without first securing a health certificate from the local authority. For dance hall and nightclubs, no person should be employed as a hostess or cook or bartender or waiter without first securing a health certificate from the local health authority. The storage, preparation, and serving of food and drinks should be accordance with the provision prescribed from the Chapter 3 of this code. Tonsorial and Beauty Establishments Working personnel should wash their hands with soap and water before servicing customers. They shall wear clean working garments. They shall not smoke nor eat while working. Implements of their trade should be clean and disinfect before and after their use. Customers should be supplied with clean and fresh towel, drapes, and other linen necessary. Precautionary measure to prevent disease transmission should be observed when serving customer showing any form of dermatosis, massage clinic and saunas, and bath establishments. The reception and office room should be properly lighted and ventilated. Every massage room should be adequately ventilated, provided with a sliding curtain at the entrance, equipped with suitable and clean massage table. Sanitary and adequate hand washing, bath and toilet facilities should be available. Customers should be provided with soap, clean towel, sanitized rubber, and plastic sleepers. They should be required to take thorough bath before massage. Masseur and masseur attendant shall wash their hands with soap and water before and after massaging the customer. The establishment and its premises should be maintained clean and sanitary at all times. Hotel, motel, apartment, lodging, boarding, tenement houses, and condominiums. No establishment should be operated and open for public 
patronage without sanitary permit issued by the secretary or duly authorized representative. Any extension or additional construction in establishment should require sanitary permit before it could be operated. All establishments should provide their patronage with adequate water supply, toilet, and bath facilities according to the standards prescribed in this code. Establishment and their premises should be keep clean and sanitary at all times. Periodic insects and vermin control measures should be undertaken to eradicate vectors of disease. Animals, pulse, and pet should be housed in appropriate kennels or cages separate from living quarters. No person should be employed in establishment without first procuring health certificate from the local health authority. Port Airport Vessels Aircraft Sanitation Every port and airport should be provided with potable drinking water, wholesome food supply, from sources approved by the secretary and his duly authorized representative. The drinking water and food should be stored and handled in a manner to ensure their protection against contamination. There should be available as to many port and airport as practicable organized medical and health services with adequate staff, equipment and facilities to pump isolation and care of infected person, disinfection, disinsecting, derating laboratory. The local health authority for its port and airport should take all practicable measures to keep the port and airport insulation free from radiance. In port and airport of entity, facilities should be provided with immunization required in international travel. Every port of entry and area within the perimeter of the airport and entity should keep free from mosquito vectors of yellow fever, malaria, and other diseases, epidemiological significance. Sewage collection and disposal, excreta disposal, and drainage. Public sewerage system is a system serving 25 person or more. A septic tank is a watertight reciprocal which receives the discharge of a plumbing system or a part thereof and is designed to accomplish a particular removal and digestion of the suspended solid matter, the sewage through a period of detention. Its construction should be accordance with the specification prescribed by this chapter. How sewer, the pipeline conveying sewage from the house or the building through the septic tank or to any point of discharge. A septic tank absorption bed or drain filled an underground system of pipe leading from the outlet to the septic tank consisting of open pipe or perforated pipe so distribute that the influence from the septic tank in oxidized and absorbed by the soil a effective capacity of a septic tank the actual liquid capacity of a septic tank as continued below the liquid level line of the tank the effective depth of septic tank, the actual liquid depth of the septic tank as measured from the inside bottom of the septic tank to the liquid level line. A preboard or airspace of a septic tank, the distance of measure from the liquid level line to the inside top of the septic tank. Distribution box of a small concrete receptacle between the septic tank and the drain field which line and drain tile extend and which act as surge tank to distribute the flow of sewage equality to each line and drain tile. Disposal of dead person It shall be unlawful for any person to bear remains in place or other than those legally authorized in conformity with the provision of this chapter. A burial ground should be at least 25 meters distance from any dwelling house and no house should be constructed within the same distance from any burial ground. No burial ground should be located within 50 meters from either side of a river or within 50 meters from any source of water supply. The final provision. Any person who will violate will punish by the imprisonment for a period not exceeding 6 months or 
may be fined not exceeding 1,000 pesos or both, depending upon the discretion of the court.